you wonder if a town or a settlement holds the record as being the coldest inhabited place on Earth. Do you reckon its inhabitants also hold the record of the most bloody-minded people on Earth? I'm living here. I don't care how cold it is. Andy and Ed have made it to Oymyakon. Life in the coldest inhabited place on Earth presents a unique set of problems. The locals have come up with some ingenious solutions. Some cows on the right-hand side there. Indeed. Oh, hello, hello, lady. Oh, look at that. One's got a, it's got a little contraption around it, warming, warming up its bits. Did you see that? Back up and no. look. What? There's one. There's one who's got it's like a, 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 a jock strap. It's a bra. It's a bra over the, uh, the udders. <laughs> that is something else, isn't it? It's not the most aesthetically pleasing bra, though, is it? It does look like a thong, doesn't it? It does. It is weird to think that all the cows that we've ever seen are topless. This is the first decent cow you and I have ever witnessed. <laughs> you suddenly realise just how wanton and disgusting the cows back home are. Hi, Ed, are these, are these your cows? Yes, it's not and tell us exactly what are they wearing? Это полюс холода, очень холодно зимой, поэтому чтобы вы меня не вымерзла, что поэтому одевает лифчики. Если замерзнет, то выпадет и не можно доить, потом корова будет болеть. Is it a, a, a matter of personal pride that you live in the coldest inhabited place on Earth? Ah, да, да, да. <laughs> <laughs> have, have you ever thought of moving 40 kilometres to Tom Tor because it's a little bit warmer? <laughs> Not. <laughs>